Good morning, Maddox! When you have really bright, talented kids, you want them to have access to all of the classes. Nome is not a village, it's a city. We do have the ability here to offer that kind of education. So what's the holdup? Well, isn't that the million dollar question? I would describe Nome in some ways as a microcosm of small town America, but the landscape here is this, I mean, it's magical. We have the same social issues that small towns have, but people here support each other in a way that I haven't seen in other small towns. And in that breeds a very unique student population. Gifted education and advanced learning is a challenge here in Nome. We don't have a formal uh, gifted program. We don't have a gifted teacher. It's difficult to sustain a program for, let's say, four or five students out of a district of 700. Our more pressing needs are children that are underperforming. We try to do the best we can for our students, but our resources are limited, so I don't think we're always able to meet their needs. In the first year of high school, I was not challenged. Teachers, they, they recognized that I should be challenged more, so they tried giving me extra classes, but even the extra classes that they gave me, it was, it's just, it's easy. How did dad help you, son? Mom's trying to look at cast and stuff here. I've always said to my kids that whether you're living in Nome or whether it's your education, it is what you make of it. If you want more, you're gonna have to work harder. We don't have what a lot of places have. And there have been families that have left Nome or they end up sending their kids to charter schools because they want their, their children to be challenged more. Honey, you need to look at this one again. Okay. But I feel very, very fortunate that we do have some really good teachers here and principals that care about the kids and are willing to help them. With some of the more advanced courses, many of them are fairly new here at Nome Belts within, say, two or three years. The advanced English courses are new this year. And so it's a combination of what we look for in teachers as well as what we can provide in terms of the technology that we have. Does somebody want to explain why we're outside reading in a tent? I think the biggest challenge that faces a community like this is just the willingness to look at possibilities. Try it. And if this doesn't work, we'll recalibrate and figure things out. I think this advanced English is going to start it. If we can make this happen, I think we can start educating the community after a semester and then start looking at other subjects, see if we can grow it. It has to be possible.